most people hire Edelman because they want to communicate a story that they have to tell to the public through our relating with the media. Uh, our job is to communicate uh, the reality of their business, the characteristics of their products, uh, their future direction and corporate ambitions so that everyone knows about that company, so they know all the things they need to know about that company, why they should buy the product, why they should invest in the stock, how they should uh, relate to the company and its, and its business. It's really about making sure that through the work that we do with journalists, that companies are able to make sure that their point of view is effectively expressed with a business outcome in mind. Okay. And how is PR done with such companies? What kind of process must we go through until the results themselves show? Well, first and foremost, a company tells us what it is they want to achieve from a business perspective. There's no point in hiring a public relations agency uh, to support some communications plan unless we have a business plan that PR is designed to help achieve. So we find out what it is they hope to get. What are their expectations in terms of sales, in terms of revenue, in terms of uh, new people buying a product, or more, more people who have not known about a company, knowing about it in the future. And so once we know who it is a company wants to talk to, we then help to take from the complexity of their corporate story a simple message that we then communicate over and over through the appropriate channels with the target audience is important to their business success. Consumers, investors, uh, the financial regulator, government, special interest groups, and the like. Could we get a little bit more specific then? What types of corporate practices or solutions do you provide to your main clients? Edelman has become Korea's fastest growing PR firm because we have been able to provide breakthrough communication solutions to clients in the financial services sector like Standard & Poor's, to clients in the automotive sector like Kia Motors, to clients in the advanced technology sector like Xbox and Microsoft, and to a variety of different healthcare companies like MSD and AstraZeneca because we um, are able to, with our industry specialties, with our expertise in these different sectors, uh, we can speak their language, and because we know how to speak their language, we can help make sure that their voice is heard by the consumers that are important to them through effective media relations. Now, you mentioned various sectors here, but I've also heard of many specific practices that are new to Korea, such as your crisis communications. Can you tell us a bit about how you do crisis communications? I mean, at times, is, this, is it about doing something that people want to cover up and not show it to others? It's about telling the truth and telling your company's side of the story proactively in a way that will educate, in a way that will inform, so that people who are anxious as they are at the time of a crisis are reassured, and so that they know that the company is doing what is necessary to deal with the crisis. The worst possible thing for a company is that they let somebody else communicate the negative facts about a crisis to the public. A company should take the leadership role and show that it's worthy of the public trust by before anyone else talks about it, talking openly and transparently about all the issues that are affecting them. That way people will have confidence that going forward, we should believe what this company has to say. And Edelman's business in Korea is premised entirely on providing a full menu of crisis preparedness and crisis management techniques, media training, presentation training, so that at the most sophisticated level of the PR practice, we are able to offer Korean companies and foreign companies uh, level and sophistication of service available nowhere else. So essentially you sway public opinion, a very powerful and effective tool these days. Do you think that this is something that Korea needs at this time? Well, I can't imagine anything that's more important than public opinion. Uh, the public decide who is going to run their government in a democracy. The public decide which companies are going to have winning products or losing products in a free market situation. So with all of that being said, I would have to uh, put it to you that we are helping to make sure that individuals who make choices, and let's face it, in today's society, we did some research showing that the average person is bombarded by 5,000 different messages a day, having to pay attention to all these different things at the same time. We call it continuous partial attention. And so what is it that's going to cut through that clutter so that a company can communicate its point of view loudly and clearly and persuasively to all the people important to its business success? 
Our job is to help make a company successful and more successful than its competitors by making sure its voice is heard above all of this communications clutter. That's why people hire Edelman. Now we've talked a lot about your corporate PR and your corporate clients, but recently there are many other types of companies that are registering themselves as clients of PR offices, public interest groups. What do you think about that type of movement in Korea and the changes taking place today? We live in a pluralistic society where voices from different quarters are now increasingly heard and all these voices should be taken seriously. Not just the government and not just the corporate sector have something that needs to be, have a story that needs to be told. NGOs have been rising in importance around the world. Um, special interest groups they've been called, but really any collection of people, be it uh, um, consumers, uh, be it uh, an industry association, be it you know a community mobilized around an issue important to their neighborhood. Everyone has a right to be heard, and so we are an agent of that pluralism. Our job is to make sure that in this marketplace of ideas and in an open competitive context, Edelman is there to make sure that our clients, the ones who are our valued clients going forward, speak more effectively than the rest. And how do you think those valued clients, particularly the top management <coughs> CEOs, would inform others about the services that Edelman provides? What, do what, I understand would your what would your clients say? What would they say? About you. About me. About Edelman. Edelman. They would say that this agency provides a quality service, original thinking, commitment to excellence that they've never seen before in a PR firm. We offer breakthrough communications solutions for companies that want a certainty of positive outcome in PR. Edelman's become the fastest growing PR agency in this country because of our unique ability to do that. And word is spreading fast. From Korean companies that want to tell their story outside of this country to the world to foreign companies that want to speak with Koreans, our reputation is spreading fast. And that's why our growth has been so fast. That's very interesting. I'd always thought that PR basically meant sending materials to media companies and preparing for events and running logistics. But it seems like you do so much more than that. Can you give us some specific examples of the success that Edelman has created in Korea in terms of PR? Hmm. I don't know, Joe. What do you think? <laughs> PR has become a lot more sophisticated. Historically, it's been kind of a commodity where it's been simple events for launching a product, for example, or publicity, just simple media relations, sending out a press release. Now it's become so sophisticated, so complex. We're mastering this thing that we call the relationship imperative. You know, in earlier days, we used to get a very small number of television channels. There used to be a smaller number of daily newspapers. And now we have, with all of this message proliferation and with all these different channels of communication, we have to be able to make sure that companies are able to manage that complexity and speak with a voice that is loud and clear and effectively moves the audience to the action that we want them to achieve. And so for a company like Kia Motors, for example, outside of this country, we are helping to build the brand image for what is truly a great Korean success story. Uh, we are spreading uh, the message of quality for a company that produces quality. Now, our job is not to, like, inv our job is not to, um, hmm. what would I say in a real life situation? Our, joy, our job is to make sure that the positive aspects of a company's personality and its products are well understood and that they're in context. For example, Northwest Airlines is a client of ours, an American company seeking to communicate with Koreans. Northwest has been flying to Korea for over 50 years. And yet, because of some of the problems with the American carriers financially, there has been some concern about among Koreans with booking their travel on a U.S.-based carrier. So our job is to reassure people, is to tell them this is the fourth largest airline in the world. This company has more cash reserves than any other American airline. And moving forward, they can trust that their travel is in good and reliable hands with no disruption to their plans working with this one airline. So both with Kia outside of Korea and Northwest inside of Korea, that's what we're hired to do.